Well, one of my kids is in a job interview, so I am going to just sit here and record some videos. I want to talk today about the fact that a lot of people say they don't like their job, and I don't understand this thinking. I do understand not liking your job, but what I don't understand is people with the internet and all of the technology we have. People still saying, I don't like my job, and they feel depressed, and they're sad, and they just, they get home, they're so tired, they're falling asleep, sitting up, and they hate it. But they're not taking little chunks of time to work on something that would bring them more joy in life, and more satisfaction, and make them feel more fulfilled, and money, in a different way. So here's my example. When I was a single mom of three kids, I realized that my work at home business wasn't quite there yet. I was trying to be a mom blogger and you know, that takes a long time to build up. Eventually I realized it really wasn't for me. And while I do still blog, I mostly run my writing business and other affiliate streams of revenue. So my point is, is that I did have to go back to work for a year. I ended up being a year. I went back to work full time as an administrative assistant and I did actually like my job, but I knew that I wasn't making much money comparative to what I could make online. So what I did was in my spare time, mind you, I had three kids that were in public school. So I did have to transport them to and from school while working full time and do the dinners and all of these routines. And each of them had different sports or activities here and there. So I had to juggle all that as a single parent. So I know that you'll say, well, I'm a single parent, I can't do this, but you can. If you really don't like your job, you can do this. Just take it one teeny step at a time. So what I started doing was I knew that I wanted to make money writing. And so I got into these little groups on Facebook and I found out people would buy content from people, pre-written content. And I started copying and pasting quotes, like inspirational quotes and Disney quotes and all these things from from just quotes online that people might want to put in their blog posts and I would sell them as files and eventually started making more money per hour doing that copying pasting and organizing quotes for bloggers and selling it to them that I was making per hour at my actual job so my friends it took a few minutes a day it took some research it took time you know and I have had trial and excuse me trial and error for 16 plus years now but on my 15th year I hit a high figure income and now I know that all of the different trials and tribulations I've gone through and that day I said I don't really want to work for someone else and I made the adjustment to learn and to do something about it that was all worth it and I know some of you out there think oh, I don't want to work for someone forever but that's the only choice I have it isn't the only choice you have if you need some guidance, leave a comment. I will try to help guide you. I can coach you if you want to hire me to coach you. We will get through this. You can make a change. It's just one tiny step at a time. And my specialty is helping single parents get there.